What are the distinguishing characteristics of progress monitoring and curriculum-based measures? How do they differ from other types of formative assessments? Progress monitoring, though, I think is, is really, really important, and especially for the kind of students we're talking about. This is the key difference between progress monitoring and the usual technique that we've been using on and off for 50, 60, 70 years of a weekly unit test. With progress monitoring, the measures, we know they're valid and reliable. So we know that they um, predict how kids are going to do later in the year in achievement in reading or, or math. So one key thing is tests that come with publishers, we don't know if they're reliable, we have no idea if they're valid or predict anything. Another uh, key difference is a progress monitoring, you want a measure that um, is like height and weight. It doesn't change. It doesn't get harder or easier from time to time, that they are parallel forms. And with any unit test, and I've developed them, I'm sure all of us have developed them, some weeks the material is easier or the items are easier, there's some giveaway items or whatever. So the difficulty varies all over the place, so if a child's scores go up, you don't know if the kid is doing better or if there's simply an array of easier passages to read or word lists to read or comprehension questions to answer. So those are probably the key distinctions that you want to measure that is closer to height or weight, that it doesn't change and it is reliable. And that way you can tell if a, a student is improving if there is a positive slope or growth.